While Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible 7 are likely going to have a great week, I'm really excited to find out what the final numbers for that opening weekend are going to be for that movie because the movie came out yesterday. So how does this movie perform Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? That's something I'm pretty curious about. You don't see movies do this that often. Usually it's always Thursday. That's the preview day, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are the the big days. But this movie has all week. It's an interesting strategy. It's also going to push Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny down even more because now there's another movie to go see instead of this one. It's a disastrous box office flop. But it's not all about the box office. It helps... But movies can be saved on merchandise and toy sales. Those can bring a movie back. That's literally what saved the MonsterVerse, from what I've been told from a couple of people. Like, some of those movies didn't do very well, but the toy sales for them were crazy good. And that got more made, which, of course, you know, ended up doing well for them because, well, what movie did an amazing box office during the Koof season. Well, that was, of course, Godzilla vs. Kong. I think it was King of the Monsters. Like, that movie didn't have a crazy box office, but the toys for it sold like crazy. So I thought we would take a look and see how Indiana Jones's merchandise was selling. And we have some results of that thanks to Thomas Connors. Over at Midnight's Edge, Tom must have been at a local Target and decided to snap some pictures of clearanced merchandise. And lo and behold, it's Indiana Jones toys. Already being clearanced out was $24.99. is now $12.49. I actually kind of like this one right here of him in that white suit. I'm surprised, though, because those are, those are based on the old ones. This isn't based on the new ones. This is the old stuff isn't selling. Like These are Indiana Jones figures, like these retro ones right here. Using retro font, those aren't selling. And the premium figures aren't selling. I hate these figures. I hate these new boxes. I don't hate the figures. I hate the boxes. I hate that they've gotten rid of windows. Like I want to see what it looks like. Because these are like, you know, when you walk into a McDonald's and you look at the the picture of the food they have, and it's it's like you get it and it looks nothing like it. Like these are the photos with some filters. These photos are using filters and lighting to show the toy. You can't actually see it. So I'm sure they look okay, but I still want to look at the figure. Kind of like you can with these retro ones. I don't like that these... I would equate these to the box, like the Black Series Star Wars toys. That's what these are kind of resembling to me. Or the Marvel Legends ones. That's These are of those quality. Like, that's the same quality for those figures as these ones. And I don't like that there's no window. I want to see the figure. But for twelve forty nine, yeah, you know, I would consider picking that up off of eBay after someone else purchases it because I don't want to give Disney any money. But it's funny to me. That, like, these are, this isn't the Phoebe Waller-Bridge character. This is old school Indiana Jones, and this shit ain't selling. It's not selling. Got to clearance it out. Wait a month or two more, ladies and gentlemen, and you'll have figures from the new movie sitting in Ollie's. I can't wait to go in there and see how much Helena Shaw is. I promise you. They'll have shitloads of her in no time. They'll probably also have old man Indiana Jones as well because that figure exists, but it's just funny to me. This is pretty damning. So they already have to clearance this shit out at a loss. No one's even interested in the old, young Indiana Jones figures. I know that sounds weird, but I mean the older style. So pretty crazy, 
And then you go and look at Disney, and their stock is still slumping. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. But, of course, one analyst sees a silver lining. Yeah, right. Uh, there's lots of work to be done for Disney to bounce back. I can't wait to their earnings call. That comes up in early August, actually, I believe. So very excited for that earnings call. How are they going to talk about their multiple box office flops? The only one that they can talk about in a positive light is Guardians of the Galaxy. And what they won't tell you when that movie is talked about in the earnings call is the fact that James Gunn has gone and is now working with the competitors. So, that is the story for today. I just thought that that was funny. I saw this when Tom posted it yesterday and laughed. What a joke. This is not good. This, is, this speaks volumes of the Indiana, brand, Indiana Jones brand itself because these are old school retro type figures. You've got... You get the retro figures, which usually always do well because they're in that old school packaging, and then you've got the more detailed figures, which you know a lot of a lot of older collectors usually like those because they look cool on shelves. And yeah, not selling, not selling at all. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. See you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.